Hey everyone and welcome back. Um, I actually had like pre-recorded an introduction on my camera and then when I was editing this video and uploaded it, I couldn't stand the introduction at all. So here I am doing a voiceover instead. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for coming. For today, we are going to be party prepping for Oakley's third birthday party. She really wanted to have a frozen Elsa birthday. That's just what her jam is right now, her absolute favorite thing in the world. So I delivered. Um, anything, honestly, to see my kids happy is worth it. So we have a lot to do today. This video is going to be jam packed. It's a bit of a long one, but like I said, there's lots, so just hang tight. I hope you guys enjoy it. We're just gonna get started by making some homemade Play-Doh. These recipes are super easy. I made three different colors. I did a white one for Olaf, uh, kind of like a turquoise tealish one for Anna, and then a blue one for Elsa. And I will leave all of the recipes that I can find down below for you guys. Hope you all enjoy. So I just really wanted to have some activities for the kids to do. So I did the Play-Doh and then I'm also going to do this fake snow here. It's called Amazing Super Snow. I found it on Amazon, super inexpensive. Um, it like these tiny little scoops make a lot. I think I put 10 of these little scoops in and then just like matched it with the amount of water that it wants added. Um, and I still have heavens like at least three quarters of a container left but anyways look at it expand it's pretty wild it was so cool um we actually filmed this party like a while ago i'm just getting around to editing it now but i still have this snow sitting out in the laundry room for the girls to play with whenever they want it feels like it feels like cold almost still to this day i thought it was just wet feeling after but no it has a very cold feeling on your hands um it's an amazing sensory type thing like i love to just pick it up myself and i just threw some frozen characters in it that we had laying around the house so yeah Okay, next I'm just going to get started on some uh, pinwheel looking cookies. I actually hate to do a voiceover over this music. You'll hear it in a minute. I've got some like reggae music here playing and I don't know about you guys, but I love reggae music. It's not something I listen to just at home, but when I hear it or put it on, yeah, I'm, I'm rocking out. So anyways, I'm just, this is just a recipe. I can add the link down below. I got it off Pinterest. It's going to be a blue and white pinwheel cookie. I'm going to just make my basic uh, like batter and then I'm taking half of the batter out to leave it just plain white and I'm going to dye the other half blue. Then you're gonna take them out, roll them between some parchment paper and they do have to sit in the fridge for a little while. So you'll see, I kind of walk away with it. It sits in the fridge. I repeat the process with the blue, put it in the fridge, and then I'm going to roll them together after they have chilled and um, roll them up and bake them.
Okay, I forgot. Before you bake them, you are going to wet your rolled dough a little bit. You can use olive oil or water. I just like ran my hand under the tap and just kind of, you know, tapped on the, the dough. Then you can roll it in the sprinkles, slice it, and then you will bake it. And then as soon as they come out of the oven, um, I added some snowflake sprinkles on, but you don't wanna put them on before they go in the oven because I think those ones would melt and they would lose their shape. I must say those cookies turned out pretty good and I'm impressed because I have never made a pinwheel cookie before so I think I did pretty good. Uh, next I just have some of those white fudge covered Oreos and some yogurt covered pretzels. This is super easy honestly I'm just taking some blue like sparkle gel and some sprinkles and I'm just gonna throw those on the Oreos and then I actually wasn't a huge fan because that gel stays wet so I thought it would dry it it didn't it stayed wet so for the yogurt covered pretzels I decided to melt some white chocolate chips down add some blue food coloring and then I just drizzled that on and that was able to harden and I liked the look of that one better okay my poor friend oh god bless her okay this is cheryl everybody <laughs> she i told her that i wanted to take her daughter for a sleepover this night this is the night before the party i wanted her daughter because i knew that sophie would help entertain my girls just so i could get everything done that i needed to and on my list to do as per every party is a balloon garland but you guys i have such a balloon phobia like I don't even want to touch them I'm so scared of the popping like that's what it is I have a huge fear of popping so she came to drop her daughter off and I put her to work I don't think she was a fan either but she did it so anyways the balloon garland is made I'm just gonna hang up these blue streamer type things um, ev almost everything I got was from Amazon and then my husband is going to help me hang the balloon garland and you guys you you'll see my face in a minute he threatened to pop the balloons on me because he knows how scared i am of the popping and you'll see my face so we just couldn't help but laugh at the playback of this last night he thinks he's so funny as much as he like tries to pick on me I still appreciate and need his help so I still will always ask him for help anyways next I am just going to set up the two tables um, I got a tablecloth for the kitchen table and then the dining room table so I'm just going to kind of set that stuff out obviously I can't do too much the night before but this is the table I'm going to set the crafts on the play-doh and the snow bucket 
And then in the dining room, this is where I'm going to have all of the food set up tomorrow. So as I just mentioned a few minutes ago, almost most of what I got is actually from Amazon. These snowflakes are from Amazon, the tablecloths, um, most of the decor, the happy birthday banner that I'm about to put up in the back, almost everything was from Amazon. So I got so click happy that I accidentally deleted the audio off this clip before realizing that I had audio. Most of this video, I don't need the background audio. So I just, you know, went ahead and chopped it without realizing that this little part was in here, but I had to leave this. Here she is trying to explain to you guys that she is going to be turning three. And I love how like baby brains work. Like the amount of effort it takes for her to just hold three fingers up is the sweetest thing. And oh my gosh, you guys, she's just so precious. Okay, it is the next morning to you. It's the next second, but it's next morning. Um, my camera had no storage left on the memory card. So we just finished putting up that photo prop station. And then that was it. I just kind of tidied up a little bit and went to bed. Now it's the next day. I'm ready. It's like, oh my gosh, it's almost 11 o'clock already. The girls are downstairs playing in the basement. So I'm just going to pick up where I left off and keep going. I will show you the photo booth thing here too look okay my sign got knocked but anyways how cute is this so I just hung it on like the closet doors and then it came with the um, Oakley broke the Elsa one so I have to tape that back on but it came with all sorts of little props i just got this at i got it at canadian tire but it's from party city and i saw it at party city as well i guess canadian tire carries some stuff from party city now 
So, but anyways, yes, the girls had so much fun with that. So I'm gonna go finish prepping the food and then, um, yeah, really just pick up where we left off. So let's let's get right back to it. Okay, so now that it is the day of the party, I can get started on the fresh food items. So I'm gonna have these meatballs going. Um, I labeled these, you'll see later, I made a bunch of food label picks for the party that are like frozen related, and these were called troll balls. <laughs> it sounds dirty, but it wasn't meant to be. Anyone who watched Frozen know that the trolls roll up into like rock balls. Anyways, next. This is the easiest recipe in the world. It is a family favorite. It has been around forever. My mom taught me this. You just mix equal parts apple jelly with ketchup and that's it. That's literally it. Mix it up, stir in a bag of meatballs and then cook it on low until the party. So now I've got those out of the way. They are going to sit on my countertop and get cooking. And then now I'm just going to get started on some white chocolate dipped strawberries and I'm going to label these as Elsa's frozen hearts. just going to whip up a quick veggie tray um, gonna use you know cherry tomatoes carrots that are already ready to go this cucumber here um, I think my mom taught me this trick like years ago you just take a fork and run it uh, like pretty intensely down all of the sides of the cucumber and when you slice it it just gives it like a little bit of a design not much but just a little bit you'll see it looks pretty cool so we're just gonna add some tomatoes carrots that I'm going to label as Olaf's nose. Uh, the whole vegetable platter as a whole will be labeled Sven's snacks. And then I'm going to add some cauliflower and broccoli as well. just going to whip up a quick cheese meat and cracker platter this is always a hit at every party there will be nothing left of this and then after that I am going to make a sandwich platter I'm gonna add some cheeses lettuce and different meats um, honestly like at parties I don't really love to be making a lot of like hot food over the stove when I have a whole party going on that's just not what I'm into I don't want to feel stressed out I just want to relax and have fun with my friends and be there for my girls when it's their birthday so I prefer to just do like finger foods and sandwiches and look I threw in some like meatballs I actually bought some um like little pizza pocket type things but I forgot to make those I didn't have room for them on the table anyways 
But anyways, back to the meat and the sandwich platter. I will be labeling, labeling this as we finish each other's sandwiches. Anyone who has seen Frozen will understand that. Okay, watching the playback, now I want a sandwich. <laughs> that looks so good to me. Like I'm gonna go make a sandwich for lunch now. So now that's done. The next thing I'm going to get into is making crock pot hot chocolate. Um, this is very good. It's very, very, very sweet. So if you don't like sweet beverages, you can definitely like add less of the condensed milk or add more milk. Yes, in Canada, we do have bagged milk here. I know that that's so strange to some people, but in Canada, that's all we know. Um, I'm gonna leave this recipe down below. I prefer milk chocolate, hot chocolate, but for the sake of this party, I wanted to dye it blue. So I used white chocolate chips so that I could add some food coloring. You're just gonna add some milk, heavy cream, vanilla, sweetened condensed milk, and chocolate chips of your choice. Next, I'm going to make these melted Olaf yogurt cups. Now, I only made six of these because I didn't really think that the kids were gonna want yogurt at a party, but oh my gosh, these were such a hit. I, now I feel bad that I only made six because all of the kids wanted them and I didn't make enough. Anyways, Greek vanilla yogurt, that's it. Put it in the bottom of a clear plastic cup. You're gonna add two eyeballs, and you know, I'm sorry for the blurry footage. I did not know at the time that it wasn't focused. Anyways, two candy eyeballs. I went to Bulkburn and just picked up these orange jelly candies and some mini chocolate chips. The mini chocolate chips are actually supposed to be like his buttons on his, like on his torso, but it looks more like a smile. And then I just piped some melted chocolate onto some parchment paper in the shape of twig stick arms. And I put it in the fridge for a few minutes and then we just throw it all together. Oakley wanted to do one and it's her birthday so the girl can do what she wants. But these were such a hit. They were all gone within the first few minutes of the party starting.
Okay, and now I'm on to my enemy. This tree, oh gosh, I made this tree before for Oakley's first birthday party. Actually, I shouldn't say I made it. My best friend came over and helped me with it. But for a frozen party, I thought, okay, very, very, very fitting. I will do it again. Um, problem number one was that I didn't buy enough of these mini donuts. I definitely thought I had enough. I bought two of the large packs, but it wasn't enough. So you'll see like I kind of fiddle with it. You're just going to use some toothpicks and go around the tree. Um, this styrofoam tree can be bought at Michael's. That's where I got it. And I just use like a 40% off coupon when I go get it. And honestly, this is it. You're just going to go around and around. You can use all white if you want. You can use mini donuts that don't have holes. They look good as well. We ended up having to take all of these donuts off, slicing off a layer from the bottom so that we could fill up the top and the rest of the tree. I didn't even end up catching us finishing it because, well, I think my camera died and then the party started. So I had to charge my battery and then move on. Anyways, here is an overlay of the food table. It looks amazing. I always love how my parties turn out. We've got the meatballs in the back, our happy birthday banner. I had a few extra balloons like Olaf and Elsa, so we blew those up. Here are some of our labels. We have frozen hearts. We had a label in the back for the troll balls. We finish each other's sandwiches. Sorry, I'm gonna choke on my own spit here. Uh, melted Olaf, which is the Greek vanilla yogurt. The pinwheel cookies I labeled as Arendelle's snow caps. We have snow covered treats. We have, uh, what else is next here? We have just some random treats, milk, cho milk chocolate almonds, mini eggs. Um, I found these cheesies at the grocery store. They are snowflake Cheeto cheesies. There's our tree. It turned out just fine after we cut the bottom off. Pretzels are Olaf's arms, Olaf's nose. We have Sven snacks. Then I also have some ice crystals, which are just those rock candy treats that I got at the bulk barn. Um, so anyways, this is the party. I love how everything turned out. Oakley had an amazing time. Honestly, all of the kids do. I love being with like having all my kids friends get together it just brings me like so much joy I'm going to show you guys a few clips from the birthday party because how could I go through all of this and then not show you a couple clips from the birthday party I really hope that you guys enjoy this video I it, this was a lot of work to edit this but like putting a party together is it's just my thing it's what I love to do so please give this video a like, subscribe and stick around. I would love to have you. There will always be more parties and more things going on in my future. So take care guys. Great.
till you added colors Like the moon is the snow, we don't care about the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>